called night. We appreciate that. Let me get caller from area code 929. You're on live with the Black Channel. What's your name? Where are you calling from? Hey, what's going on, brother? My name is Al, New York. All right, Al, and we're at New York. Bronx. All right, Al in the Bronx, what's on your mind? Yeah, what's going on, brother? Um, I want to touch on two things. Number one, I want to touch on the Farrakhan, uh, I mean, the uh, Malcolm X situation and the uh, Empire situation. Now, as far as the uh, Malcolm X, that's what I meant, Malcolm X situation. Uh, we have Louis Farrakhan, who's a master mason, as being uh, quoted as saying that the die is set and Malcolm can't escape. So when a man says that the die is set, that means the plan is set. And since he says that the plan is set, that means he's aware of the plan. And saying that the man can't escape means that he knows that the plan is going to move forward to the point that Malcolm X will be dead with the plan. So that's clear cut. If if nothing else uh, gets more complicated than that, uh, but some of the points that you brought up were uh, just as well. Now, as far as the empires go, okay. Well, let me let me go are. ahead. Let me go ahead and address that right quick. For decades, the government has tried to put the onus on the nation of Islam, and certainly there have been there were some troublesome signs coming out of them all along. Absolutely. Here's the issue, though. I I admonish you all, or at least I would encourage you all. There was a speech that was given by uh, Louis Farrakhan at Malcolm X College 25 years later. I remember it being on tape, heard it when I was in high school. And he combated that. Now, did he make a, did he have me completely convinced? No, but I think the deeper we dig into Malcolm's assassination, here's the problem. The deeper we dig into Malcolm's assassination, it doesn't take us closer to the nation of Islam. It takes us closer to the New York Police Department and the FBI. So if they were a part of it, the evidence would be taking us toward them. The more we dig, the more it takes us towards the white government. Furthermore, well, I would say furthermore, far, if far the as nation as were involved, they would have gone to arrest them. They could have shut down the nation of Islam all in one fell swoop. They could have asked Malcolm X on one hand and shut down. The, sir, the nation of Islam is very much alive and well, sir. Louis, Louis uh, Farrakhan was there then. He's more powerful than he's ever been now. Well, so, no, sir, not really. You allow me. Y'all can't just make that up well, now. Louis, but Louis Farrakhan's uh, nation of Islam is not Elijah Muhammad's nation of Islam. Okay, That's Elijah Muhammad. No, sir. Elijah Muhammad's son was supposed to take over and there were enough people who were disillusioned about the way that he was taking it that when Louis Farrakhan started up and said that this is going to be a fundamentalist movement in the image of the way that Elijah Muhammad did it, the folks who were more in line with Elijah Muhammad, they broke off and followed him. And um, yeah, I mean, his Elijah Muhammad's son, Wallace Farr, he, he got left behind. So no, sir, people just made a choice that Louis Farrakhan was well, a more faithful representative of Elijah Muhammad's movement mm -hmm. than Elijah Muhammad's biological son. Well, uh, he didn't steal. Uh, he didn't steal. Team. He did not steal those people. Those people chose to go with him. And they okay, were, and by the way, like, and by the way, they were correct to do so. If you were looking for a more faithful representation of Elijah Muhammad's teaching, that was Louis Farrakhan. His son wanted to do a bunch of reformations. Whether you agree with those reformations or not is irrelevant. His son wanted to do some reformations and the rest of these folk wanted to sit up here and do something different. Well, I'll tell you what really happened is uh, uh, the after Elijah died, the nation of Islam, now keep in mind, Wallace, was the biggest hypocrite, much more of a bigger hypocrite than they accused Malcolm X of being. And they voted for Wallace to be the leader of the nation. Of oh, and that's right. on the record. Hello? Okay, well, sir, since if he had that much pull, they would be having Savior's Day oh. with him and not Louis Farrakhan. So that's already settled, well, sir. Well, sir, that's already well, settled. Just, you can't, you don't get to rewrite history well, now. It's already done. I'm not, re I'm not rewriting it. I'm, I'm ironing it out. <laughs> sir you're not you're that, not that ironing anything out people made a choice you sitting up here 
trying to right. kick dirt it's on it, do, sir. It doesn't change what the people did. This is not about Louis Farrakhan, Farrakhan sir. It equal. doesn't change the fact that the folks who are following Elijah Muhammad chose to follow Louis Farrakhan. They had another choice own, and they rejected the other choice and chose Farrakhan. But they didn't because Farrakhan was never the heir and never the leader of Elijah's nation. Sir, if the, pe the if the people in the congregation said we have a choice between Elijah Muhammad's son and Farrakhan and they broke off from Elijah Muhammad's son to follow Farrakhan for the fifth and last time, the people made their choice. Okay, well, let me go on to the empire stuff. So, so the people, the, the people made time. their choice. It is the people who legitimized Farrakhan as the leader of the movement. Like it okay, or well, like it this. or lump it, that's what happened. So that's a touchy point with you. Let me move on to the uh, imperial sir, stuff. Fa facts, uh, sir, facts are not a touchy point, sir. Math is math. If you disagree, if you have some one-man war against mathematics, that's a sad commentary on your life. It doesn't make other people touchy. It just puts you at war with math, which really looks silly. But, I mean, I guess if you're Don Quixote with your one-man war against mathematics because facts are troublesome things to you, that's a personal issue well, there, you want to deal with. A fact. Is it not a fact that Farrakhan was under Wallace? under his leadership in the nation of Islam. Until he wasn't. Okay, so he was. That means he was. Okay, so was okay, sir. Operative word was. How about today? But was. So was operative word was, Islam, sir. What about Islam. today? Okay, well, let's go on to the... Sir, to the who, is Louis wanna... who is Louis Farrakhan following today? He is following Scientology today. Okay. Let me know. Let me know when they do that. When they have that little roundup. All right. Thank you very much for giving us a call here. If we stay on long enough, then we get the silly folk calling in. So it's just math, math. The facts are too disagreeable for him. So okay. Well, I'm, I've got my own history book over here. Let me see if I can speak on that. I've got my own history book over here. Can the facts be what I want them to be? No, the facts cannot be what you want them to be. The nation of Islam chose Louis Farrakhan. Well, they really didn't. Sir, are you serious? They really didn't choose him. Okay. All, right. all those people sitting out there in the audience, all those people everywhere else, the million man march, but the nation didn't choose him. All right. All right. Okay. You know, he had a part in the assassination there. Well, you know what? That's always been a long time belief there. And I will not say that the nation of Islam was blameless in the matter. But what I will say is that the more we dig into the facts, it doesn't take us towards Chicago and the nation. It takes us towards the New York Police Department and Washington, D.C. to the FBI. It takes us there. It doesn't take us to the nation. The more we investigate Malcolm's murder, it doesn't take us to the nation. So let it go. Follow the facts.